Well, we've made it back up here today, and I think today we're going to do a little cleanup. Um, we've we got our rooms painted. Was the last video, and uh, now we've just got some. We need to catch up on the cleanup. So I think uh, Lisa's wanting to clean up where I left that mess the other day. I said I was going to clean it up, and I didn't under the fireplace and then we're going to clean on that possibly insulate that wall but uh, this sheet metal is an extra sheet it needs cut in three pieces because it's going to be over the basement door for an entrance and then I've still got my spray equipment for the uh, when I splattered the walls that needs to be cleaned up and also this is cleaned up but it needs to be put up and I might try to clean it a little bit more the paint sprayer so these rooms are done and I think we're pretty satisfied with them overall the texture turned out like what we was uh, wanting it's pretty it's a pretty fine texture and uh, I think the color suits us ceilings look good so it's all coming around. Um, we need to get the stuff to put on that ceiling there yet. Yeah, but anyway, that's kind of where we're at today right now. Just clean up. We come up here and we go pretty hard at whatever we're doing, it seems like. And uh, we're tired at the end of the day and we go home. So uh, we're going to clean up today. So we certainly do appreciate you coming along we got cash back up here with us today <laughs> he heard his name yeah he hasn't been with us because i didn't want him to get in the mud the uh, sheetrock mud or the paint so anyway you got anything to say okay This is the color that we painted the uh, pantry and the mudroom. It's a Sherwin-Williams color, but uh, we had it mixed in the Valspar signature line is what we used. It covered really well. Seems to be good paint. Alabaster. I like the way it covered. Yeah, I do too. It went on pretty good. Yeah, it did. But we had a good time surface for it too. Right. putting, uh, misting a coat of WD-40 over all that and then wiping it to where it wasn't really covered in it, but it uh, would have kept the paint from sticking as much, which it's not too bad. The hose will be covered no matter, but uh, anyway, uh, myself started priming before I got it covered, so I didn't get it done. Did you hear that? He's in there talking to her like he's got a chance. Helps her with some trash and then thinks he's gonna move in on my wife. He didn't have a chance. Have you seen him? I mean, just look at him. Yeah. I'm not worried. I'm not. I'm not. Should I be? No. I'm not. I'm not worried. I just got on the end there. A waste of time. It's 16 foot. 
Well, I know, but I'm gonna check it. I'll do it, but it's six food food. I know it is. See, told you so. What a waste of time. What a waste of time. Okay, so I think what we're gonna do is cut this into three separate pieces so we can store it for now a little easier and then we're going to use it for a shed type roof, hopefully on the basement door and we'll put a I don't know, we have another piece of this, a five foot piece out there too. So that would give us four, three foot by five foot pieces. So we could have a 12 by five canopy over that opening down there. I think it would save the door and just be pretty good to have. So we have the metal. I think that's what we're gonna do. We just need to get it out of the way right now because that's a summer job. Look at there. I put it on five foot three. <laughs> right on it. Five foot four is right there. Dead center. I mean dead center. There's 65 and there's 63 inches. Myself couldn't have done that. Well, you're still an inch off. It's an inch. That's quite a bit. I could have done better than that, Lisa. Can you help me and hold that? Right there? Yes. Put it down. I've got to mark this side. Okay. Yep. Let's see if I can do it again. Well, right there it is, five foot four inches. Exactly, look at that. I'm a sixteenth of an inch off. What do you think of that, myself? Well, you got lucky twice, so what? So what, I still could have done better than that. I would have got it both on it, I think. Probably. Maybe. But you're not all that great. A little crooked. Okay, can you help me this side? Yeah. You're lucky that pencil lead didn't break and come up and poke your eye out. Just hook it on the end and put it in so little. You're not a bad measurer, but you're just not an excellent measurer. Well, you better let me do the cutting. That's pretty tedious doing the cutting. It's, it's got to be accurate. I don't care if you cut it. I want to cut it anyway. Anybody can cut it after there's a good line there. If you get a perfect line, you should be able to get a good cut. So maybe you'll do all that. The line does help, but the cut person cutting is the main person. I'm gonna go and mess with that light in there while he cuts that. We're gonna go see if that light is gonna work okay. for us. You just go ahead and cut it. I have the safety gear anyway. So this is what we picked out for in here. It's just kind of a more of a utility type and it has to where you can angle these two different sides of it. So uh, we're going to put it up there and see what it does in here. It might be, we may not like it after we get it up, but we have two of them if we do. If we don't, we'll take them down and take them home and put them in a shed.
these aren't the very good lines, actually. I'm, I'm pretty well just having to eyeball it and guess. It's such a poor job on marking it. I just get tired of dealing with this all the time. Stop, stop. How does a guy like him get a gal like her? I don't understand it. I don't understand it. I mean, look at him. Just look at him. What does she see in him? Lucky. Lucky is all. I doubt he could even get this. I doubt if he could. He'd have it all messed up. For one thing, there's not a good line to go by. You have to have a good eye when you don't have good lines. So we got some rock wool here, insulation, and I've never used rock wool before, so we're going to try some of it in this wall. in the past so I think I'll go ahead across the top I've got them marked out and they all need cut but if you want to finish that up they're 41 inches except for that one and it's 40 and that one's 21 and a half you'll push them in there I probably should have checked his measurements this goes south on us we'll know why Probably a little tighter than it needed to be. I'll make it work at his measurements. back there messing with the light that I told him not to get in the first place. I guarantee you they'll get back there and they're not going to like it. It's not going to work the way they want it. They want something different. They don't ever listen to me. I don't know what she sees in him. Okay, now we'll turn it on. That's nice, so. Yeah. Too much light? I don't think so. We wouldn't need two of them very bad, would we? Not really. It's all right. We can use one here and 
use the other one somewhere else. I don't know. Would it be easier to mount one of them? Yeah, on the, right there, and then put, get something different for there if you didn't want as much light. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna get out of here. We got some of our mess picked up, and uh, we didn't vacuum this room or sweep it yet. But uh, anyway, we got some of it situated. <clears throat> we're gonna clean that up and probably paint it white, and then put it on there. This will need to be uh, caulked around as well, just to make it look a little neater and cleaner. And we got a list of what we need to finish out our covers and things like that. So uh, also we figured square footage for up here and down here. Uh, need some trim stuff. But we did do a little cleanup today. Got our area to work again. Lisa worked this room over. Uh, we got that wall, can't see it now because uh, I put that plywood up against there, but <clears throat> we did get it insulated. And we'll sheetrock that whole wall as soon as uh, we're satisfied that that's not gonna leak. I need to pull that all back out of there and do a little bit more patchwork. But for now, I think we're about ready to call it a day, aren't we? We are. Cash has his subscribe jacket on. <laughs> Come here, you little heathen. There. So, so I believe we're going to get packed up and out here. Are you ready to go? Cash is ready to go. He had something to say. Subscribe. Dun, dun. Lion King. Yeah. Mighty dog. Here I am to save the day. <laughs> He's not amused. You're not amused? Why not? <coughs> We appreciate you all very much coming along and joining us. And we're going to get out of here. Uh, myself already went to the truck. He was mad. So but that's kind of typical. We're going to get out of here. We appreciate y'all. Happy trails. What's up?